From midnight, the cost of living will shoot up for Britain's cider drinkers. And it's not going down well with cider producers, who say the rise in duty of 10% above inflation could damage the industry. The small producers, artisan producers, produce a quality product, so hopefully um, a, a fairly modest increase in their price can be accommodated and people will still enjoy their cider. What it is likely to mean is they've got less opportunity to invest, to expand, to maybe, maybe employ more people. So I think it's an opportunity lost as opposed to a risk of uh, jobs being lost immediately. This year, Alan Hogan made 300,000 litres of his traditionally produced cider. His business near Malvern in Worcestershire has been expanding dramatically over the last year or two. Now he fears that could begin to slow down. The amount that this measure is going to raise is probably £15 million, uh, which equates to, I think, about 25 pence per individual per year. Um, it's not going to make much of a dent in a deficit of £167 billion. I don't think it's going to be a barrier to people uh, uh, consuming, consuming alcohol. So it's, it's hard to know why it's, why it's been done. There doesn't seem to be a rational explanation. The Chancellor, Alistair Darling, said the move was designed to correct a long-standing anomaly, whereby cider is taxed at a lower rate than other alcoholic drinks, including lager. In pubs, the duty increase could put the price of a pint up by 10 pence on some ciders, in a country where a billion pints of the indigenous brew were consumed last year alone. Alistair Darling's move has incensed Tom Banner of the West Country band The Wurzels, who had a 1976 hit with the song I Am A Cider Drinker. This government and previous governments as well uh, when they see people enjoying themselves, they think, oh, we'll have a little bit of that, we'll have some of that tax. It used to be the motorist, but now it's become it's the cider drinkers now. The Wurzels are backing an internet campaign called Leave Our Cider Alone, but it seems they will have to swallow this latest tax on the drinking public. David Crabtree, Sky News, Worcestershire.